what's going on you guys John Bossy Cross here and today it is a bad news I'm um, really disappointed to say this so you guys know that I haven't owned my TRX4 Bronco for uh, for not long it is this is a very recent truck it's brand new and I take care of this uh, and uh, surprisingly badly recently um, the ESC caught fire almost and it filled up my truck with these like black pieces like as you can see here uh, yeah it, it was really disappointed so I heard people say mock mock this and said that the Traxxas electronics are not that good but I really thought kind of like that was bad luck or something and I really took care of this and thought it would last but disappointingly the the stock ESC went out when switched off like it was sitting for a week it was connected off it was switched off with the battery connected for five minutes approximately and like the ESC like almost got fire and it melted as you can see here it almost melted the wire and the housing right there and it, it like threw these black pieces everywhere so that is a, uh, it's a disappointing but anyway guys I'm gonna be changing it with this hobby wing one one ten sixty I meant quick run 1060 brushed ESC I had this for two years it's been in like four cars with 550 motors 540 motors 370 motors and never said ouch so hopefully it does not disappoint me as well yeah but hobbing is i think it's a substantially better improvement over the traxxas stuff but anyways so what you have to do is there are two the stock ESC is held in with two screws it says a hex you just unscrew that pretty much so you can get the esc off I'm just gonna unscrew the ESC first and then I fiddle with, I fiddle with the wires later. Okay guys, so the ESC is unscrewed and now first I'm gonna disconnect the power wires going to the motor. That's pretty pretty tight. Why does is this pretty tight? Oh, there we go. Can I get the pliers, which will help me to get this off? There we go. So, well, the ESC smells bad. There's a smell of like burnt wire in the garage. Okay, so next, the only last wire left is this wire that goes to the receiver and it snakes under the battery tray. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have to remove that as well. Okay guys, so the battery box tilted up and the wire is going here and there's a a uh, a zip tie right there it's holding the these two wires and you don't have to cut that off so obviously you can free up the wire be careful not to cut the wire and there you go so next we're going to have to open up the receiver box okay guys so here is the receiver box as you can see and the receiver box has has three screws, one, two, three. You can see that very good right there. And also here you have two other screws. With, this is a hole down for the wires. And this is the battery box. First you have to unscrew the hole down. Which is this plastic part. Which keeps the wires tight together for a waterproof seal. Okay guys, there we go, the battery, the, the wire hold down is out, and if you notice, there is, uh, I believe this is 
some sort of waterproof grease that Traxxas uses. Okay guys, here we go. First time seeing inside my battery box. Okay, so this is upside down. So if I just flip my truck, you can see the stock receiver. Now, the receiver has five channels. So first channel, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5. Right? So channel 1 is for the steering servo. Sorry, this is not focusing. Channel 1 is for the servo. Channel 2 is for the ESC. And channel 3, channel 4, and channel 5 are for the servos. With the ones which control the diff locking and the uh, transmission, and I'm not professional at that. I'm just going to be replacing the ESC. I just thought I would like explain what this stuff is. So what you need to do is find the second channel plug. This is the ESC plug, and you have to unplug that, and then you have to snake the wire out, and you can un uninstall the ESC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so I freed up the stock ESC. The wire is so long, hopefully the hobbling one is going to reach. Um, if it doesn't reach, I have an extension. I think we better get the extension for this. Okay guys, so back at the front. Good tip that should help here. There could be oils on the plastic. We're going to have to degrease the surface. What you have to do is get some brake cleaner. Put it on there and quickly wipe it, wipe it off. Also, it helps to clean off the end of the ESC. So this ESC has, the, these are the motor current wires, let's call them that way. And uh, they need to be cleaned up a bit, but whatever. Um, uh, these are not colored black and uh, red. So what I'm gonna be doing is just lightly putting them on so I see which way is the right way because it could be faster in reverse than forward or vice versa. You have to get it the right way. But uh, these are just mocked up. Let's go ahead and do this wire. guys so everything is hooked up I got a extension because the wire was not long enough to snake around the receiver box and let's try this thing out so here we go guys no I have to switch it off switch on the remote there we go there we go. <laughs> Sting is back. Oh yes, this thing is gonna work so good. This thing is gonna work. Let's let me test if the motor is okay and everything is okay. Cause last last time this thing ran, it was on fire. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. So I was lucky that I got the colors right the first time. Yeah, and uh, I'm just quickly testing this out because this TRX Force polluted from that burning smell of that stock ESC, which is really horrifying my lungs. But um, I'm just going to test everything. Everything looks good. The ESC is very, very smooth. Actually, this ESC is smoother than the original. The original was good, but this thing is highly, highly better, guys. And for like 30 bucks, this Hobbing ESC is 
totally worth it. I mean, you can spend more by getting the version 2 of this, which is more, com more common on these Traxxas TRX-4s. But this is what I had, this is what I'm going to use, and this is the best for me. And I think it is going to be a substantial improvement. I know I really wanted to keep this original, but sadly it went out. And it's not worth spending more money in getting a other Traxxas ESC, which sadly would not be as good as this one and could potentially go bad like my stock one did. And trust me, I did not abuse it. Trust me, I did not. And whatever, guys, hopefully nothing goes more bad on this Traxxas CRX4. But anyways, I'm, uh, I'm totally in love with this. Hopefully it will be a substantial improvement, guys. And to conclude this, all you need to do because I ended up talking you just close up the receiver box and for the main compo compartment you don't need to actually put some you don't have to put anything because there's a gasket make sure you don't kink that when you go to put it back on you just put it on like this make sure it is on there good you just screw these screws back in where they came from and by the way do not screw them a lot and because you're obviously tightening into plastic and you definitely don't want to ruin this receiver box when you think it is getting tight just stop there and just continue to screw these things in and the last thing you want to do to conclude all of this is get some sort of uh, marine grease or some sealer silicone which is what I'm going to be using on this on here where the wires are locked with this plate of the receiver box I'm going to be using a little bit of silicone sealer on here where there was that Traxxas grease I just put a little bit of this stuff just put a bead of it right here and also I'm going to put some here, so I can see. I'm not going to be, like, putting a lot because, like, 50% of it is going to be going out. And it's going to be very, very hard to get it off because this stuff dries good. And then just get the screws in the holes of the plate so it's hard to film this. Uh, at least I have the tripod, as you can see. And then put it on here. And make sure you don't get wires in the way and press it hold it and tighten at the same time these screws on the wire hold down screw one at a time so you seat it right because if you don't get it seated right you could still have water leaks I'm going to be using the Allen key for this side because I don't have an extension for my wrench my, or my ratcheting screwdriver and just tighten these equally to get a waterproof seal 